demonstrate how we took this window that come from my great grandmother's house. It's big, huge. There's no glass here. Ooh. How we took this window and replaced the, the panes in it because, well, I don't want to throw them under the bus, but my husband kind of broke a couple of them. But anyway, he helped me replace them. But in doing so, I learned some things that um, I thought I would share with y'all in case y'all found some old windows that needed a paint replaced. Um, what I did first was, while well, he had run to the hardware store to get some things I'm gonna show y'all, I took it apart, took an old brush outside, brushed it all off. Um, I didn't wanna sand it because I didn't wanna lose any of the texture or any of the character of it. So I just brushed it off really good. And then um, he come back and I'm gonna show you how we replaced the paints in it. So yeah, just took it. This piece of glass is cut to size. We got it at Lowe's. Honestly, didn't know they cut glass at Lowe's, but you gonna help me get it in here? Yep. Okay. We got that in there. Okay, a little tip that we learned the last time the hard way so you can learn from our mistakes is if you are using this, use a glove because I was squeezing it out, which was fine, but he was going around with his finger and getting it all smooth and yeah, we had to get some acetone and it still didn't do it real, real good. So use gloves. While he gloves up before we start, this honestly could be a one person job but I think it's much easier with two, but you could definitely do it by yourself if you had to. And this window has such a sentimental value to me because this come from the, the house that my grandmother grew up in and like she'll be 93 in April. So, do you mind? I'm trying to tell them how I feel about this window. Anyway, this window, I mean, it's at least, and now we got the dishwasher going off. This window is at least 100 years old, and it's my mother's. She's let me know that it is hers. I'm just keeping it for her. But, um, yeah, she won't ever get it back because I will conveniently forget it's hers. But I was just going to let y'all know that this is, this could be a one-person job, but it's just much easier with two people. All right, you gloved up and ready? Y'all, y'all can see the behind the camera. <laughs> Call. Okay, we've got our glass in. Now I'm gonna take one of these little glazier points, get them from Lowe's. And you're gonna kinda, I only did like one per side. You can do as many as you want but you put it in the wood and then I took the paint stick, put your channel locks over it. And squeeze it in there. Then we're gonna do three more. See if y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm just laying it here. I'm kind of get going, sticking the point in with my finger, kind of getting it in there. Then I'll take, there's these little clips that are up that I'll just kind of, yeah. It makes you wanna say some bad things sometimes, but don't do it, it's not worth it. And then be really careful and just kind of slide. Well, as you see, I wasn't careful enough and I broke my glass. Y'all, this will be the fourth piece of glass that we have to buy for this window. I'm beginning to think that this pain does not need to be in there. Hmm. Or 
I'm just gonna leave it in there and leave it cracked. Woo! We had to cut that one to edit that out, but we finally got one in because it took a minute. But now we're gonna put the, what is this stuff called anyway? Flexible all-purpose water, waterproof sealant. Silicone. Is it the same as silicone? It's an improved grade. It's an improved grade, okay. All right, so now we're gonna take this, we're gonna go around the edges, and he's gonna use his glove to kind of smooth it out. And I think a hundred year old window or a window that's over a hundred years old should have a crack in it. So we're just gonna act like this is just part of the original window. Nobody will ever know, so shh, don't tell nobody. All right, here we go. And he'll tell me, do it like you're frosting a cake. And then when you do it and he like he smooths it out, there was a couple of places that I would have to go back over it. Because it needed to be a little bit bigger. And this is supposed to be clear when it dries and you're not gonna be able to see it. And so far I think that's the case because on the other sides we've done. Sorry. Build up my muscles, getting my workout on. All right, and see we got a chunk of the window missing here, so I'm just gonna go just so far. And this should help with all that. Help hold it all in. Can't wait to get this hung up. I'm a sucker for sentimental things. All right, go over that and see how good we did. I don't wanna mess up my manicure, so he's gonna help us out. Good man, James. Good man. The gloves were too small for his hand, so. Again, one of the things we wanted to do was retain the patina of the window. That was a choice for the clear silicone. Those clear, the clear silicone is gonna hold those window panes in there tight, good, and for a long, long time. Yep, so another hundred years later, they should still be in there. This window for where we live has weathered many storms. Like we've, it went through Hurricane Camille, Hurricane Frederick, uh, Ivan, what's some other bad ones we've had? Elena. Elena. Um, Katrina. It wasn't in Katrina, I don't think so, because mama had it by then. But, I mean, Camille and Frederick were really bad. So, it's weathered many storms and then probably storms we don't even know about. Because, like I said, I would really love to know the age of the window. But it's probably, I know it's over 100 years old. But, anyway, so once I get this hung up and decorated, I will show y'all a picture of it. And I hope this helped you out. Um, I know I learned some stuff from it. Um, and so, hopefully, you learned some stuff. And if you do anything like this... You know, share it with me on Instagram. Follow me on my social media. I'll have all the links in the description box. If you like videos like this, give me a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe to my channel. And until next time, see you later. Bye.